Here we go. Welcome back. Yes, uh, I'm Mr. Whirligig, if you've not seen me before. I'm the person who makes Whirligigs. Well, I did. Uh, started doing it during lockdown for something to do. It's just a hobby. It's turned into rather a pain in the backside, to be honest with you, because I was just making so many, it began to take over my life. Uh, I haven't been on the eBay, uh, YouTube for, oh, since, uh, well, 18 months. Uh, I had a few emails, people wondered whether I'd passed away. No, no, I'm still here, still going, still uh, trying to earn a living, doing something. But due to the fact that my circumstances have changed, mainly I've moved house, and I no longer have a wonderful shed that I can make whirly gigs. So I've had to stop my production of whirly gigs. Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, I think I got up to just under 300 in the end we made. Uh, which gave me a nice little income. Uh, yeah, I, you know, I won't moan about it. I thoroughly enjoyed doing it, but it did become a bit of like a, the elephant in the room. You know, it just overtook my life. So uh, since we've moved house, I haven't done anything. I've had so many sort of uh, emails and texts and things. What are you doing? What are you doing anyway? So what, what I thought I'd do, if, if I get enough response, and you know, I don't mind doing anything as long as it's appreciated. What I hate doing is, uh, as you say, uh, Pissing in the wind. Uh, it's an old English expression, you know, what's the point of doing it? Because it's only going to blow back. And I, 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 I don't mind doing it. So what, what I've been asked to do is, is to show people how I actually come across and how I design and how I make whirly gigs. So what I'm going to try and do is actually make a few videos on how I came up with the idea of whirly gigs, why I do them this way. If you've seen all my other videos, they're more trying to sell them. Uh, I'm not I'm not trying to sell whirly gigs no more because uh, I just haven't got the facility to make them but we we did get lots of lots of support we say selling but I could actually I did where are they now they're, they're around here somewhere I put them somewhere look look uh, uh, how many hubs I've got left over you know and you know they're going to finish up in the bin so if anybody's interested in a hub just drop me a line and you know just pay the postage and I'll send them to you uh, because uh, you know, uh, we, we, we've got quite a few hubs, to be honest with you. <laughs> Excuse me. Bit of long, long COVID carrying on, I think. <coughs> Horrible cough I've got. Uh, but still, never mind. So I'm going to put up a few videos, rather than just showing you the finish, on the production of the Whirly Gigs. Uh, and I, hopefully, if if I get enough subscribers and people that like the video, I don't mind doing it. But if, if the response is, then, to be honest with you, yeah, you know, I'm, I, what's the point? What's the point? But if there is a point there and I get enough response, it's like I've had loads of people ask me where I get my uh, little bearings from, which if you've seen the videos, the bearings that I use to, uh, 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 you know, on the whirly, it's only little tiny things like that. Look, look, I don't know if you can see them like that. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to try and source those for people because you have to buy them. I, I think I bought, bought them sort of about 500 at a time. So if I can source them, you, ne you never know. And if there's enough response, I'm, I might list those on sort of eBay. So if anybody wants any, I might be able to get on them. But only if I get the response. I'm not, I'm not going to do it for you know, self-gratification or anything. I'm just going to do it for if, if, if people want to help. Because believe it or not, you know, it started as a hobby. Just making, you know, the odd whirly gig. As you can see, uh, if we uh, push the play button, the, 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 you know, the, uh, I, I did 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 uh, you know quite a few whirly gigs uh, in the end, and uh, and I earned a nice income out of it. You know we did about just under I think three hundred three hundred twenty five pound a time. Well, that's it's not to be laughed at, is it? And 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 I, and I enjoy doing it. Uh, if you if you can see on the video there, you know uh, we did the bear, the fishing bear. Uh, about twenty of those I sold. Two went to America, believe it or not. Uh, it very popular was. Uh, was a seagull. Oh, yeah. Oh, we did loads of him uh, because people put them in the garden, especially if they had seagulls, because it scared them away. <laughs> Obviously, it's not a very good, very good looking like a, a seagull. But uh, yeah, people ask me, and if and if anybody's got anything, uh, again, the swan. Uh, if anybody's got uh, any. Thing they want me to make, uh, then you know, you just drop me a line and I'll see if I can design it. Uh, I, 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 st I can still do it all by hand. I, can, I, you know, I can cut things out with a little fret saw. That's not a problem. Uh, I've still got loads of bases and propellers and this bit here. I've still got loads of those. It's only the figurines I've got to make. Uh, that's the lumberjack. Uh, 
he, he was very popular. We sold loads of him. Uh, this is one of the earlier ones because I haven't got the bobble on the back. On, on my later whirly gigs, I put a bobble on the back of the body just to give it a better angle uh, for, going, for going up. Look at that. It goes up and down to order. Isn't it brilliant, eh? Isn't life wonderful? Yeah, so, so his life went up and down. And we used a, a, a log rather than a tree trunk. This, this is another one, a similar one. Again, he's an early one. Now you can see with Tim, unlike, I, I actually had his arms adjustable. Oh look, there's my hand there. Can you can see, uh, uh, so you could adjust, adjust the arm where, where on that one it was solid. It, it just took a little bit out of the manufacturing process, uh, which, which was good. But I don't mind pass, passing on any of this information to people. If, if you want to start making whirly gigs, yeah, you do like me, make, make a small little business of it and, uh, and earn, uh, earn a bit of money. There certainly is money out there. You know, uh, the response we got to, to boot fairs and, uh, and little market fairs and craft fairs and things like that was just amazing. Uh, you know, this one is, is, is the little dog with the bone. And again, you see, look at this, the propeller goes up and down when he wants it to. Look, oh, oh, I'll spot, spot it. And the dog just goes after the boat. Yeah, it's, uh, they're not complicated. Uh, but, uh, anyway, look, the most important thing is if, if I get the response, and um, I mean, if, if I get enough likes and enough subscribers, please, 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 because that's the only way I can judge whether it's worthwhile me doing it. And on, 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 on top of that, if I get enough, then uh, YouTube actually send me some money. And we can all do with a little bit of money, can't we? Anyway, just a quick video. I'm going to go go and try and make maybe three or four videos on how on, on the basics of my way of making whirly gigs. Uh, it's not it's not the uh, it's not everybody's way. It's the way I found was the best way that I could make whirly gigs, not in bulk but easier. You know, like just having one propeller. You know, I, I just designed one propeller, one hub, and that propeller fits on every whirly gig. And it was the same with the bases. Uh, yeah, we all have, they, they're, they're all on one, if you can see there, one base. This was, this was one somebody wanted to paint it themselves, so I, I did one without painting it. But as you can see, they're, they're, they're all on different, the same base with the same propeller now. That's how I standardised them in the end. So that uh, it, if I got an order for something, like if I, if I got an order for the dog, I could just put the dog on the standard base. Anyway, uh, this is my wonderful shed here that uh, we uh, we used. I've lost all this. That's all I had was just a, a you know a, a small shed. And as you can see, look, it's whirly gig heaven. <laughs> it really is. Uh, there's more whirly gigs, different types of propellers that you know uh, that I've used. Uh, different ideas. You know, one of my uh, one of the early figurines, as you can see, they were. With, we're in three parts, which was good. One of the you know, the earlier propellers, different shaped wings. Uh, uh, this was the first whirly gig I ever made. This one here, uh, it, it was Doris the uh, Flower Lady. I don't know if it's going to come down a bit. Yeah, there, there we go. That that was the first one I ever made. Uh, but as you can see, we've we've gone away from that. Uh, uh, the first woodpecker I ever made. Again, he he went up against the stick. Where the later ones, uh, I did them slightly different. So. It, here we go. So rather than move there, they moved at the bottom, which I found far better. It gave a better leverage. So no, no, no. Uh, they, uh, never did work those. The puffins tried so hard to to get them because the wife likes puffins. But the biggest problem was that the the wooden bit was too heavy. It was uh, it was too heavy, uh, and the poor propeller couldn't drive it. The balance wasn't right. But uh, you know, no, I, might, I might not have, might have a go at another one, and, and, and the, 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 yeah, the wood chopper. Again, as you can see, that's the two-part one. There's all the hubs. Look, you can see how I made hubs and blades for the propellers by the thousands. Well, not thousands, hundreds. Uh, yeah, uh, only tool, really. That's all you need, jigsaw, uh, a, a, a bandsaw, nice bandsaw, only a, only a cheap one. Uh, cut most of the things out on the bandsaw. The, it, you know, we had a, a little pillar driller, I don't know, pillar, pillar driller, drill, upright drill there. Uh, and that was it really. Uh, no, if I can do it, anybody can do it. Uh, there we go, look, look, uh, all, 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 the, uh, all, all the blades. Oops, yeah. In the end I was making, me, it, it, it became a production line, it really did. It, it, we, we started making so many. but. Uh, uh, and there's all the hubs, yeah, hundreds of hubs I made. But but once you uh, get a production line, if you, do, I've got a video somewhere. One of the video, one of the early videos shows you how I make the hubs and how we did them on the uh, on the 
bench saw. Yeah, yeah, circular saw. Yeah, all the bits of wood and bits and pieces. So there you go. Uh, this is a video, so if you, you can see it's on YouTube. It's not, it's not bad. Uh, not, not my greatest videos in the world. But there you go. If you are interested, just uh, as you said, I will keep begging, begging, begging. Please subscribe. Please like. Please let me know. If there's any way I can help anybody, uh, yeah, just get in touch. Uh, you know, I might be able to help you. If, uh, point you in the right direction. If there's anybody in Norfolk would like to buy my entire stock of Whirly King bits of music. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. They're quite welcome to them. Uh, yeah, because they're, they're, they're just sitting in the loft at the moment in boxes. Uh, I, I, yeah, I, I, I don't know what to do with them, to be honest with you. Uh, don't have such a big garden now, and as I said, I don't have the facility to carry on. But I don't mind making a few videos and showing people, people uh, you know, what great fun you can have. Uh, certainly kept me amused for a couple of years. Anyway... I think that's wrapped it up. We've done. We've got our 10 minutes. I don't like doing videos over 10 minutes. People get bored. So very nice to speak to you all. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you haven't, uh, don't like it. If you did, do like it. And again, I will say for the fourth time, please subscribe. And the most important thing, be kind to the animals. Bye.